Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. In this video I will show you how you can make this beautiful bag here. It has this little top handle, this nice lock here again and that's it. For this bag I found this beautiful macrame yarn. It's um, off-white and it has uh, gold sprinkles in it and this is the brand Here another close-up and these are the details for the yarn as usual I will link everything you need in the video description so please check out the video description for all the details and we work with a 3 mm hook. For this bag, we start with our slip knot. And then we make 40 chains. If you would like to make the bag wider, then just add further chains here, but make sure that you have an even number. So for my bag, I will make 40 chains here. Then we start in the second chain from the hook, this one here, and go back with single crochet. So in this row there's nothing special, we just go back with single crochet. And since we started in the second chain, the first row has 39 single crochet, so one less than our ch uh, starting chain. This is how the first row looks like. As I said, nothing special here. And now, to generate this shape here, this is the one side I already made, we have these little slightly round shape here. You can see here that, we, that it increases to the left side and to the right side. And to get this shape, we will make an increase in every second row, or in other words, in every even row. And we do that like this. We chain one for the turn. And now we will make two single crochet in this first stitch here. And then go on with one single crochet in each loop. So by making these, this, uh, these two single crochets in the first loop, you can see that it's already bending to the side here. And you go on like this with normal single crochet until the end of the row. So this is the row and in the very last stitch of the row that we reach now we again make two single crochet.
and the second one. And as I said, first another overview. And as I said, you do that in only every second row or in ev every even row. When we turn around now, we are in odd row, which means that we make normal single crochet just one on one. So I didn't make two single crochet here, but just make it made one single crochet. So in the odd rows, you don't have to do anything special. And this is how we make this shape here. Another overview. So every second row, sec second row, second row, second row, you can pretty see it pretty well here where you make the increases. And you do that for 10 rows in total. So this is just a quick hint. Um, if you if you're struggling um, in which row you are, every time you work in the direction of the slip knot, then you are in an odd row. So in these rows where you work in the direction of the slip knot, you don't have to do anything, and in the even rows you have to increase. So this is row number ten here. And let's have a quick look on the finished piece. As you can see here, this is what we already made. And now the rows just go straight up for this part here. That means from row 11 on our stitch count will now stay the same. You should have 49 single crochet now. And you keep keep the stitch count from row 11 to 27. So row 1 to 10, we made the increases in every second row. Row 11 to 27 stays the same with 49 single crochet. So this is the straight part that we just made. And now we have um, to decrease the rows in the same way like we increased them. And again, we will make a decrease in every even row. Since we're in row 27 now, we will have to make a decrease in the beginning of the next row. You decrease like follows. You pull the thread through the first two loops so that you have three loops on your hook. Pull through all of these loops and then go on with normal single crochet. And again, you do that in every second row, or in other words, in every even row.
Now at the end of the row, you do the very same like in the beginning, which means you pull the thread through the last two stitches, have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of them, then chain and turn around. Now we are in uneven row again, which means we don't make anything special here, but just make single crochet all the way back. Afterwards you're in even row again and there you make the decrease. decrease. And in this way you go on until row 36 where you should have 39 single crochet again. So like this you can see it again very well here. Decrease, 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 decrease and we're in row 36 here in the end. And in this row you should have the same stitch count like in the first row which was 39 single crochet. So this is the bottom here. I started with 16 chains which leads to 15 single crochet in the first row and I made 40 rows in total. If you would like to make your back deeper you just um, increase uh, the row sizes and if you place the bottom like this to the main part of the back should be in the same size. I already fixed um, some plastic canvas here just took part of the thread and soon sew it on on all of these parts So the, the main part of the back you have of course to make twice for the front and the back. And now we again take part of the thread and sew the two parts together. Just poke through one loop at the bottom here I chose this loop here then poke through a loop of the main part pull the thread through poke in again it actually doesn't matter which loop you choose here for sewing so you only have to make sure that the bottom is um, placed properly next to the main part And then go back and forth and sew the two parts together. So for the sides, this is how they look like. I again started with 16 chains, which led to 15 single crochet per row. And in total, I made 39 rows. Again, I already fixed some plastic canvas here. The 
first side was already fixed, the back side was also fixed. And before you finish your side part, I would definitely recommend to place it on your back first and see if it's indeed the right, right height for you. Um, if not, just add some rows. Now for the top, I started with 40 chains, then made 39 single crochet and these are three rows single crochet. In row number four, we will start the pattern. I already made the chain here. And now for the pattern, every row will start and end with a single crochet. Now the second stitch of this row will be um, a pull through stitch. For the stitch, these little horizontal loops here show you where you have to poke in. And then you yarn under, this is very important, pull the thread through, bring it up to the edge, yarn over and close. This is should look like. Then you make a single crochet. Then you make a pull through stitch again. So you check for these little horizontal loops here, right below the current stitch. Poke in there, yarn under. Again, this is very important. We will see why. And close this stitch. Then single crochet again. And pull through stitch. I chose this stitch for the for the back flap because it will create a pretty thick fabric. You will notice that. So we don't have to sew any plastic canvas here because it gets um, thick enough for for the flap. Now front side. Here you can see the reason why we yarned under. Um, the thread is placed next to each other and shouldn't be twisted on the front side. On the back side this is no normal that it's twisted, but on the front side it has to be placed next to each other. So here's the back again. As you can see it's twisted. Now I make the last pull through stitch of the row. Yarn under. Make sure the threads placed next to each other on the front. And as I said, every row starts and ends with a single crochet. Like this. Then chain one. Turn around. And now. We will always work together the two neighboring threads of the little V's um, that we just made, which means we will make as many single crochet as we need to reach the middle of these V's here. And then we poke below the neighboring threads, pull the thread up to the edge and close the stitch. Then we make a single crochet again. And then we are again in the middle of the neighboring threads, which means we poke below them. Oops. Poke below them, pull the thread through there, bring it up to the edge, close the stitch. Single crochet again. And we are in the middle of the V again, which means poke below the neighboring threads, bring it up to the edge and close. Single crochet again.
this is how it should look like. Now this is the finished row. We will end the row together. So I'm in the middle of the V's here. And close. And now we make two single crochet to end the row. This is the front side pattern. Again, we chain one for turn, turn around, and now, as I said, every row starts and ends with a single crochet, and we will now have to reach, so this is the first single crochet, the next stitch would be on top of the pull through stitch, and we reach the middle of the last two pull through stitches where you have these little two horizontal loops again that show you where you have to poke in. So you make as much single crochet in the beginning of the row until you reach this loop here. There you make your pull through stitch. Then single crochet again. Then you reach the next horizontal loops between um, the pull through stitches of the last row, poke in, this is where you have to um, come out on the front side, and again it's important to yarn under, then pull it through, bring it up to the edge, and close this stitch. Single crochet again. Then again, pull through stitch. This is where you have, this is where your hook has to be, to appear. Yarn under. Pull it up to the edge and close. Single crochet and so on. So this is the row and we end like we started, which means we make two single crochet here. Now chain one, turn around and again you make as much single crochet as you need until you reach the middle of the two V's. As soon as you reach them, you again poke through below the neighboring threads. Make one single crochet, poke through the neighboring threads and you can perfectly see the pattern here. This is um, the second front side pattern row and we again turn around and this row is the same like the first backside row again which means we make one single crochet and this is 
where we make our first pull through stitch. Then one single crochet. Then a pull through stitch again and so on. In total, I made 53 rows here and I ended on um, the pull through row. I already cut the thread and weaved it in. And now we will work around three sides to um, straighten them, them a little. That means we will attach the thread again here in the very first loop pull a loop to the front chain one And now poke in in this first loop here, make a single crochet, then poke in in this upper loop here. As you can see, I work around the loose end of the thread for a few stitches can also take a smaller crochet hook here that will make it easier now poke in and this loop here make a single crochet there then you have this upper loop here again, poke in there, make a single crochet, and this is what you will make for the whole side always poke in in these little lower loops and in these upper loops here and make a single crochet then in the corner stitch here you will make a single crochet a chain and a single crochet on this side here I think it's clear where you have to poke in in the next corner stitch you again make single crochet chain single crochet and on the other side you have these upper and lower loops again where you place your single crochets so these ones here this upper lower upper and so on and you stop here so some of you asked how to fix this lock here. I already pushed it on the side, on the edge of my top. Then I just grab the little screw and fix it with my tiny screwdriver. By the way, the screwdriver is magnetic, which is why I was able to pick the little screw up like this. And 
the lock is fixed. The lower part um, you will fix by poking these little spikes through your bag and just bend them around. And this is how you fix your lock. In the end, I just fixed the D-rings with a few stitches here. Same on the other side. For the top handle, you will have this little screws here again. And that's it. I hope you like your new bag and if you like the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and follow my channel.